Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 115 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of programming MCQ. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. That too, it is related to increment and decrement operation in C programming, uh, which will be asked in many placements exam like uh, Zoho or any other MCQs, programming MCQs, which our companies ask. The important topic will be based on this increment and decrement operator. So we are going to discuss three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, what will be the output of the following C code? So they have given a code snippet and they have also given the option. So we have to identify the correct answer for this particular question. So what they have given, so int a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c they have declared here. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and next c they are assigning the value of a plus 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 b. So a plus plus is post increment operator. So post increment operator is nothing but uh, it will just add these two things. So a plus b it will add, it will assign to c and after that only it will get incremented. So uh, post increment is nothing but it will just assign the value and then only it will increment the value for you. So that is the operation for post increment. Pre increment means it will first increment the value and after that only it will get be assigned to that particular variable. So here what they are printing. Uh, so a and b value only they are printing. So you don't have to worry about c value. So a and b value only they are printing. So we need to concentrate only on a and b. So b value it is not changing. So it is going to be one only. So you can eliminate option C and option D. So try to eliminate which are the options not suitable. Uh, you are not you are confidently aware of that because B is equal to one they have declared here and B is not being changed anywhere here. So what it will be uh, B's value is going to be one. So either option A or option B should be the correct answer. So A is equal to one they have given they uh, in this statement C is equal to A plus 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 B means uh, C value will be getting assigned and after that A will be incremented because it is post increment. So A will be incremented to 2. So option B is the correct answer for the first question. So uh, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 1 is the correct answer for the first question. And the second question is what will be the output of the following C code? So they have given again the code snippet. They have declared the variables of A and B which is equal to 10 and they have given an if condition if a is equal to 5 b minus minus they have given print percentage d they are printing the value of a and b and in print up statement they have mentioned the value of b minus minus also they have given so what will be the output of this particular code we have to identify so initially if you see the if statement means a is equal to 5 they have given only single equal to is being given here but uh, to check the equality of those operators we will use double equal to so it will be compile time error if, if you think in that manner but actually uh, a is equal to 5 means it will be an assignment operator so no errors will be given so options also if you see means they have not given any compile time error so a value will be assigned to 5 so that you have to mainly concentrate on this particular question and so a value will be 5 because initially a value is going to be 10 and here a value is going to be assigned as 5 and in the next statements uh, nowhere a is being incremented or decremented so option a and b you can eliminate it as it is so option c and d either or answer is going to be from option c or d so b is equal to then they have given only if this condition is satisfied b will be uh, decremented uh, if a is equal to 5 it is being assigned assigned means it will go to the uh, next statement uh, b will be uh, decremented to 9 and after that we are printing the statement so a is equal to 5 b is equal to 9 will be printed here also if you see means b minus minus it is there after printing this statement only it will get uh, decremented so after the execution of printf statement only b will be decremented to 8 so initially when we are printing a and b your answer will be a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 9 so option c is the correct answer for the second question and the last question is int i is equal to 2 int j is equal to plus plus i plus i 
so plus plus i means it is pre increment operator so pre increment operator is nothing but it will just first increment the value of i so initially 2 is there after incrementing i value becomes 3 so i value is 3 and again this i value is also be going to be 3 so 3 plus 3 6 6 will be assigned to j we are printing the value of j so option a 6 is going to be the correct answer for the last question so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and also in our channel itself we have posted about this increment and decrement operator all the concepts we have discussed in our video itself in c programming playlist you can see those two videos two videos i would have been posted i have discussed all the concepts regarding the increment and decrement operator so you can watch that video to know about uh, the concept of increment and decrement uh, concept in more detailed way so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care